Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at default parameters. Now basically what this means is, let's say you're creating a sub or a function, and you want the user or the developer to be able to pass a value to that function. But you don't want to force them to do that. So it, you can give them the option to give you, let's say, a title for example. So if they want to give you a title, then it will go ahead and let them pass that to the function. But if they don't give you anything for that spot, it's not going to return, it's not going to give them an error. It's going to set the default value for it. So let's go ahead and make a little demo application for this. So we'll type, we'll go ahead and select new project. We will name it optional. Make sure you have selected Windows Forms application and then click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our Form 1, we'll resize it some, and we'll open up the toolbox. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a text box and another text box. Now the first text box is going to be our title, and the second text box is going to be our message. Now we'll just add a button called Show Message. So we'll resize that a bit so it'll fit in. And we're going to go come over here to our text box 1 and we'll rename that to text title. And we'll re rename this one to text message. So now let's close out of our toolbox and we'll double click on show message to open up the event handler for that. And once we're in here I'll zoom in. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create a sub. So we're going to start off with the keyword private and then we'll use sub and we'll call it show message and now what we're going to do is we're going to force the caller of this sub to enter in a message so we'll do by val, by val message as string and then we're going to have them enter in a title now they can enter in a title if they want but they don't have to and the way we do this is by using the keyword optional so we'll type optional by val title as string. So they can call show message with only one argument and it'll still work fine. So we'll go ahead and press enter and then we'll type end sub. Now what we need to do is set a default value for our title. Now you cannot use optional unless you have a default value set. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an equal sign here. So optional by val title as string is going to be equal to default title. And so now we'll just do message box dot show message and title. Now this isn't very practical, but it's to teach you the concept of optionals and um, using default parameters. So now let's go up here to our button one click and we're going to call show message but there's a couple things we need to do first. We will declare a variable so dim message as string and it's going to be equal to text text message dot text. Now we're going to create a title uh, variable so dim title as string and it's going to be equal to nothing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple if statement to see if the user has typed anything in the title. So what we're, how we do this is we're going to do if text title dot text length is greater than zero then go ahead and do this. Now what this does is it gets the length of the text inside that text box and you can see that it says text length as integer gets the length of the text in the control. So if they actually entered something in the text title, then what we're going to do is title is equal to text title dot text. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show message. So show message and then we'll do message and title. Now what if they didn't type anything into the text title? 
To handle this, we're just going to add an else. So we'll just type else right here. So if text title dot text length is greater is um, equal to zero or less than zero, which it cannot be less than zero. It's either zero or something greater than that. So if it is equal to zero, then we'll just go ahead and show message and then we'll pass message to it and no title and it will show it will set the title to default title so let's go ahead and run this and here's our form right here if we go ahead and set something as the title we'll type hello and then hello YouTube if we click show message you can see the title is set to hello and it sh shows hello YouTube now if we take out hello and leave it as nothing you can see that when we click show message it says default title right there so let's go ahead and close out of that so um, go ahead and make some subs or functions if you'd like and play around with optional bivowels or use you can use optional bivowels with bivowels and with birefs go ahead mix and match those get a lot of practice with that and then once you're done with that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching guys